Picture this. You're knee-deep in diet research sifting through a deluge of information about the keto diet. One article swears it's the golden key to weight loss, while another warns of potential pitfalls. It's a whirl of buzzwords and conflicting advice, enough to make anyone's head spin. This is the keto conundrum and it's enough to leave you wondering, is keto a good way to lose weight? Well, we're here to help unravel this dietary riddle and equip you with the facts you need to make an informed decision. No hype, no gimmicks, just a balanced exploration of the ketogenic diet's weight loss claims. We're going beyond the buzzwords to the core principles of the diet, its potential benefits, and its potential drawbacks. Because let's face it, successful weight loss is about so much more than just following the latest trend. It's about understanding the science behind the diet, knowing how it aligns with your lifestyle, and most importantly, listening to your body's unique needs and responses. So let's strip away the confusion and shine a light on the truth. We'll delve into the nitty-gritty of the ketogenic diet, from the science of ketosis to the role of macronutrients and the importance of hydration. We'll debunk the myths and misconceptions and explore the pros and cons. So, are you ready to navigate the sea of keto information and debunk some myths? Let's dive in. First things first, let's understand what happens when you're on a keto diet. The ketogenic or keto diet is a high-fat, low-carb eating plan. The goal of this diet is to get your body to enter a state known as ketosis. But what is ketosis and why is it important? Well, ketosis is a metabolic state where your body, instead of using carbohydrates for energy, starts burning fat. This shift in metabolism can lead to rapid weight loss, particularly in the initial stages where water weight is lost. Now, it's essential to tackle the macronutrient maze. Macronutrients are the nutrients we need in large quantities and they include fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. In a keto diet, you're aiming to consume around 70 to 75% of your daily calories from fat, 20% from protein, and only 5 to 10% from carbs. This ratio is crucial to achieving and maintaining ketosis. But let's debunk some myths about the keto diet. First, it's a common misconception that you can consume unlimited amounts of protein on a keto diet. However, consuming too much protein can actually knock you out of ketosis, as excess protein can be converted into glucose in the body. So while protein is essential, it's not a free pass. Another myth to bust is the idea that all fats are created equal on a keto diet. While it's true that fats are the star of the show, quality matters. Saturated and trans fats found in foods like butter and cheese are not as healthy as monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats found in foods like avocados and fish, so we've busted some myths. But what about the benefits and risks of keto? Let's find out. Like any diet, the keto diet has its benefits and drawbacks. So let's dive into the nitty-gritty of this popular weight loss method. On the plus side, the ketogenic diet can result in rapid weight loss, especially in the early stages. This is largely due to the body shedding water weight as it adjusts to a lower carbohydrate intake. Another potential benefit is a reduced appetite. By filling up on fats and proteins you might find that you're not as hungry as you would be on a diet higher in carbohydrates. Improved blood sugar control is another possible advantage, which can be particularly beneficial for individuals with type 2 diabetes. And some research even suggests potential benefits for certain health conditions, like polycystic ovary syndrome and neurological diseases. But it's not all smooth sailing. The keto diet also has its share of potential pitfalls. One of the most common is the infamous keto flu, a collection of symptoms including fatigue, headaches, and irritability that can occur as your body adjusts to its new fuel source. And let's be frank, maintaining a strict low-carbohydrate diet can be difficult, especially in social situations. There's also the potential for nutrient deficiencies as the diet restricts certain food groups, and for some, the diet could have an impact on kidney and bone health. And it's important to remember that individual factors can significantly influence your weight loss results on keto. Factors like age, pre-existing health conditions, and metabolism all play a role in how your body will respond to this diet. But most importantly, don't let the scale be your only measure of success. Weight loss is a complex process, and it's about more than just shedding pounds. It's about improving your overall health, your energy levels, your sleep quality, and your mood. So whether you're seeing big changes on the scale or not, if you're feeling better in your body, that's a win. Remember, the scale doesn't define your health, it's about how you feel and the positive changes you're making. So keep that in mind as we explore further in the next segment. So, you've decided to try keto, how can you make it sustainable? You might be wondering, 
Well, there are a few strategies that can help you maintain this lifestyle change for the long haul. Firstly, let's talk about hydration. It's no secret that water is vital for our bodies to function optimally. When you're on the keto diet, staying well hydrated becomes even more critical. This isn't just about quenching thirst, it's about helping your body adjust to using fat for fuel and mitigating potential side effects like dry mouth or fatigue. So, make water your best friend, and don't forget about unsweetened beverages like herbal teas or black coffee that can also keep you hydrated. Next up, meal prep. Planning and preparing your meals in advance can be a game changer. It not only ensures you're eating the right things to stay in ketosis, but also saves you time and prevents you from succumbing to non-keto temptations when you're hungry and short on time. Remember, a little preparation goes a long way in achieving consistency. Now let's shift our focus inward. Listening to your body is key. If you're feeling sluggish, experiencing persistent digestive issues or just not feeling right, it's important to take note. These could be signs that you need to tweak your approach or that this diet might not be the best fit for you, and that's perfectly fine. There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to dieting. That brings us to our final point. If you're unsure or facing challenges, don't hesitate to seek professional advice. Dietitians and nutritionists are there to guide you based on your individual needs and circumstances, so don't be shy about reaching out. After all, this is about your health, and it's worth investing time and effort to get it right. Remember, your health journey is unique. What works for others may not work for you, and that's okay. The key is to find what suits you best and to ensure it's sustainable in the long run. Because when it comes to your health, it's not about quick fixes but lasting changes. Now that we've explored the keto landscape, it's decision time. Let's review what we've learned. The ketogenic diet is a high-fat, moderate-protein, low-carb eating style designed to shift your body into a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel. It can lead to rapid initial weight loss, largely due to shedding water weight. The macronutrients, fats, proteins and carbs, each play a crucial role in achieving and maintaining this state. And while there's a common misconception that you can enjoy unlimited protein or freely indulge in cheese, the reality is that balance and moderation are key to successful keto. The diet has potential benefits for weight loss, including reduced appetite and improved blood sugar control. It may also have benefits for certain health conditions. However, it's not without its drawbacks. The initial symptoms of keto flu, the potential nutrient deficiencies, and the possible impact on kidney and bone health are all considerations. Also, remember that individual factors such as pre-existing health conditions, age and metabolism can significantly influence your weight loss results on keto. And it's important to focus on overall health markers like energy levels, sleep quality and mood, not just the number on the scale. In terms of sustainability, staying hydrated, planning your meals, connecting with a supportive community, and listening to your body's signals are all strategies that can help you maintain a keto lifestyle in the long run. Now as you stand at this keto crossroads, it's time to weigh the evidence and make your informed choice. Consider your own health goals, lifestyle, and compatibility with the diet. Explore alternative options. Maybe a different diet or lifestyle change might be more suitable for you and most importantly, Remember to celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Every step you take towards better health is an achievement worth celebrating. Whatever you decide, remember, it's about making informed choices that suit your needs. At the end of the day, your weight loss journey is uniquely yours. It's about embracing sustainable healthy habits that work for you, far beyond the confines of trending diets. We encourage a space for open conversation, so feel free to share your experiences, pose questions, or even voice your concerns. We're here to learn and grow together. Remember, it's not about perfection but progress. Your journey, your rules. Here's to your health.